Before I begin, I just want to state something funny about the production of this video. Originally, I started writing this video at the beginning of the year as a way to search for this mysterious piece of lost media during 2024. I even posted this announcement in the community tab a month ago. Then, a few days later on January 20th, the lost media I was covering was uploaded. Because of this, I'm changing this from a lost media search video to a review of this demo. I will still start with the backstory of the animation, just to provide context. Now, back to your regularly scheduled program. Hey guys! Happy New Year to all, or Happy Steamboat Willy is now public domain year. To start 2024, I wanted to talk about one piece of lost media that fascinates me outside of lost movie theater bumpers, which is a lost pilot. So do you viewers remember the movie Barnyard? You know, the one with a bunch of farm animals that party when humans aren't looking, the one where a cow played by Sam Elliott sings I Won't Back Down, the one where a mouse named Biggie Cheese sings Mr. Boombastic? Yeah, that one. I remember watching this movie a couple of times in my youth, and I also remember enjoying the Nickelodeon spin-off show Back at the Barnyard as well as getting the Barnyard movie video game on my Wii back in the Christmas of 2006. What if I told you that there is a test pitch of Barnyard? There hasn't been much discussion of this particular piece of lost media before it was found. The closest I can find is a short section in 24 frames of Nick's video on the Barnyard video game and it was also featured in Blame It On George's 10 lost slash missing pilot episodes from popular kids shows video. I'll leave a link to both in the description. So while this isn't exactly a new discovery, I felt that giving this pilot its own dedicated video would give it enough attention so you guys can know about it. To give some background, Steve Odekirk, the director of Barnyard, created the idea for Barnyard in the 90s and he wanted to make it into a full CGI movie due to his excitement for the possibilities of the medium. He even started pitching CGI concepts like Barnyard before the release of Toy Story in 1995. That's when he discovered Johnny Quasar in a magazine, a 3D character created by two guys in Dallas, Texas named John A. Davis and Keith Alcorn. This boy genius they with Goddard in 1995 at the CGI convention SIGGRAPH, where the very short animation won several awards. Odekirk helped the guys pitch what would eventually become Jimmy Neutron to Nickelodeon, and in the meantime, he gave John and Keith's company DNA Productions work to do. They did this incredibly bizarre TV special called Steve.Odekirk.com, a 1997 Christmas special for ABC called Santa vs. the Snowman, which would later be released in IMAX theaters five years later, and the project that's the topic of this video, the original pilot for Barnyard. This pitch demo was animated by DNA Productions in the summer of 1999. The animation was stated to have a runtime of five and a half minutes. It features gospel singing hens who were seen in a deleted opening for the movie, a Bobby McFerrin like mule who is the Danny Glover voice character Miles, and the weirdest of them all, a rapping pig. Odekirk planned to turn this idea into a full CGI movie, but he wasn't sure if DNA would work on it due to their work on projects like Jimmy Neutron. While the movie Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius was in production, Nickelodeon executives came to Steve Odekirk's house and watched the Barnyard demo. They loved it so much that they decided to greenlight a movie and a TV show of the concept just like they did with Jimmy Neutron. This led to the Barnyard movie, released in 2006, and the TV series Back at the Barnyard, released a year later. This pitch was never released to the public, not even as a bonus feature on the movie's DVD. For a long time, the only piece of evidence of its existence was going on the Steve Odekirk website, which I went to a lot as a kid by the way, where you could see rougher looking versions of the Barnyard cast as well as a description of what the movie was about. Uh? The closest we had to actual footage was a short clip on the movie's behind the scenes featurette. What the heck? But if we're gonna do this, let's do this! We did end up getting a glimpse of it in 2016. The trailer appeared on an Indonesian BCD of DreamWorks' flushed away of all things. This definitely feels like a mess up on the distributor's part, because this doesn't look like something Paramount wanted to be seen by the public. I'm confident that this Barnyard trailer was created sometime during the movie's production as a rough trailer in order to present it privately as a proof of concept until the actual animation was completed. One proof of this is that there are some lines that are from the movie in this trailer. Everything you think you think think you know. Just remember. Right now. Interestingly, the trailer stated that Barnyard the movie would be released during the holidays of 2005 while the series comes out in 2006. Coming holidays 2005 and TV series coming in 2006. 
The movie was actually supposed to be released in 2005, but was pushed back multiple times before settling in August 2006. It seemed like this pitch demo for Barnyard was not going to be found for many years. But then on January 20th, 2024, a user named Live DJ Rock uploaded the entire animation, which was sourced from a VHS that was listed on eBay for like 50 bucks. 50 bucks ain't bad. Given the O Entertainment logo watermark, this looks like it was exclusive to O Entertainment or maybe DNA Productions employees. Now that this was found suddenly, I want to take a look at this animation and share my thoughts on it. Since this is a proof of concept for Barnyard, it showcases the ideas that Odekirk wanted to explore in the movie. It starts with a gag where a girl in a car looks at the cows and moves at them. And Otis responds with, I hate that. What's notable about this scene is that the model of the little girl is actually a recycled model of the little girl from Steve Odekirk's Santa vs. the Snowman special. And the parents in the car who aren't fully visible look like the early versions of Jimmy Neutron's parents. Pretty clever way to save money on this test. Next, we see Otis and some other cows taking a joyride in a car, which is what happens in the movie. Only here it's the farmer's car, while in the movie they take Mrs. Beatty's car. There's even an early version of that funny moment in the movie where one of the Jersey cows pulls out the milk. Did you bring the stuff? <laughs> Yo, baby. Yeah. Hey, yo, but, but, you bring the stuff? It's right here, huh? Show it. It's Show right, it. It's right here. Show it. It's right here. It's right there. It's right there. Obvious got milk joke, and then it cuts to two female cows who look like the prototype versions of Bessie and Daisy that are having a witty conversation in the barn. Cut back to Otis and the cows in the car, and after another joke, they get chased by the police officers with a lot of oh mans, like in the movie. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, oh man, man, oh man. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh man, oh man, better let me out, you gotta let me out. They crash the car, run in the woods, and act like normal cows just before the police arrive, again like in the movie. After that, we get the aforementioned rapping pig, which admittedly isn't on the level of notorious P.I.G.'s rap. <laughs> The farmer turns on the light and the animals become quiet. We end on Otis's classic line from the franchise. Ah, uh, milk me. Um... Okay. And then we get the credits. During this, we get a funny scene with Freddy the ferret. You see, it's just that... It's in my nature! I'm a ferret! I eat chickens! was clearly voiced by Cam Clark like in the movie and show. There are no credits for the voice actors here, but besides him, I can tell that Steve Odekirk played Otis in this test pitch. Otis was played by Kevin James in the movie and Chris Hardwick in Back at the Barnyard. Odekirk would play the role of Snotty Boy, Randall Beatty, and one of the Pizza Twins. Also, this Freddy scene was supposed to be in the movie, but since Odekirk didn't know how to fit it into the movie, it got cut. After we see Freddy, we get one last joke that reappears in the movie where a pig gets to work, which means going in the mud. Beautiful day. Well, guess I should get to work. So that was the Barnyard Test Pitch. For my final thoughts, I found this pitch to be very fascinating to watch, and I am happy that it was found after so long. The animation does look rough nowadays, and if the 2005 trailer was released in a theater, it would look dated compared to when the first Jimmy Neutron trailer came out in 2000, but this is excusable since it was only a test, and the animation would get a major upgrade for the movie. At least this ain't like Food Fight where the first trailer looked a lot better than the final movie that came out. Holy fish pies, I also just think that old computer animation from before the 21st century has a special kind of charm from how they look, from the early Pixar shorts to that bizarre Donkey Kong Country cartoon, and it's no different here. The dialogue is pretty amusing, and I like seeing the jokes that made their way into the final movie. This is the same feeling I had when I first watched the Jimmy Neutron pilot Runaway Rocket Boy on the Confusion Fusion DVD, where there was a lot of material that was recycled for the film and it was fascinating to see how they originally played out. What also stood out to me about the Barnyard pilot is how I lack some elements that appeared in the movie, including the father-son relationship between Otis and Ben, as well as the villainous coyotes. The film was definitely more dark and emotional than the pilot lets on. On a final note, it feels like there's more to this animation. If you look at the trailer, there are two shots of Freddy and Miles dancing that aren't in this demo, and the chickens don't sing in a gospel style like what was said by Odekirk in the article I showed you. Some of the screenshots online also don't appear in the pilot. Considering that the pilot was said to be 
five and a half minutes long? Is there a longer cut of the animation that exists somewhere? Well, according to this comment from the uploader of the demo, there is apparently another animation test separate from this one, so maybe this is a lost media search video after all. But whatever the case, I'm still glad that this animation resurfaced. I was waiting for it for a long time, and it's finally here. Steve Odekirk is a creator that I really respect a lot. His weird and zany style of humor comes off as incredibly charming, and I wish we had more people like him nowadays in the Hollywood industry. He is also apparently happy that the pilot was found because he didn't have it for a long time. So I'm glad for him that he gets to finally see this resurface. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see the pilot yourself, I will put the link in the description. If you have seen it, what do you think of it? This has been Alberto Productions and I will see you all next time.